Alright, g'day guys and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Probably a short video today I would say, but I just wanted to bring your attention to a plugin that I had been pretty oblivious to. I'd uh, heard people talking about it, uh, I'd seen some references to it in the Discord channel, but not actually played around with it myself and uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that I think we should probably all have installed. So uh, without further ado, let's jump over to Obsidian and have a look. We're going to be looking today at style settings. All right, so you can see here, I've got my demo vault open. Uh, we're just gonna quickly go down here to settings. We're gonna come in here to community plugins. Uh, we're gonna do a uh, sorry, a browse and we'll go style settings. So this is it here. You can see I've already got it installed, but you will need to do the install. And then once it's installed, do the enable. Uh, there is obviously a um, uh, examples here on how to use this and, and what to do with it. Um, having a look through from what I've seen so far, like a lot of it is uh, probably code heavy um, and it's it's designed, I think, for the people who are using it as part of their plugins. Um, but just so you understand what this actually is, like if we go and we start back here, assuming we've enabled it, we go settings, we come down here to style settings, all right, now what we can see is a list of other plugins. So what this is, it's um, it's a plugin that makes it easier for other plugins to have their styles changed effectively. Um, obviously, you guys would know that I use ITS alternate theme. Uh, you can come in here and you can see that basically there's now settings for turning on all of these things. Um, and I've noticed that this has just basically better controls. So. Uh, when I came in here and turned it on by this option instead, you can see all of my text sort of changed. Um, and it just had a, a few more additional settings. Uh, there's adjustments down here, for example. You can change the color of things so that they can match your own sort of personal uh, settings if that's what you want to do. All right. As you can see here, like we've got dark, we've got light, we've got different colors. So you could certainly do a lot of different changes and um, obviously not all plugins use it um, but there looks like there's a, a fair bit of customization is it justify i don't know but this is the thing right <clears throat> i had no idea this was here so um, I, I certainly recommend that you guys have a bit of a uh, well install it and have a bit of a play around um, you can see, you know, just it's going to depend on what plugins you have installed. Um, but I'm going to be using this in a future video, um, looking at this supercharged links because this is where we basically uh, create some of the icons that we're going to be using in that video. So, anyway, uh, just a very quick one, guys, just to say, hey, this thing does exist. Uh, I recommend you install it and just have it in the back of your mind, just in case you do want to completely customize a plugin or you want to be able to control some of the functionality that a plugin is uh, requiring so anyway there you go that's been uh, style settings have a bit of a poke around and see if it's for you um, and outside of that i'll speak to you guys on the forums